And there's serious concerns over the U.S. Postal System's ability to handle all the mail-in ballots that are expected for the presidential election. And now the Postal Service is dealing with another problem, exploding wow, mail trucks. Look. It's really close to our house. Frantic moments as a U.S. mail truck suddenly bursts into flames. Our front yard is on fire. Homeowners along this quiet tree-lined street terrified their mailman may be trapped inside. Oh, wow, it's exploding. Mary and oh, Peter Fry recorded these dramatic images. I jumped up from the table, went to the door, and I look out and I see this mail truck on fire. It was the cabin of it just in flames. And so I run out the door to see if the mail carrier's inside the vehicle. Luckily, no one was inside, but terrifying scenes like this have been playing out in neighborhoods across the country. My truck is burning. Oh, the dash is melted. In the last six years, more than 400 mail trucks have burst into flames. Watch as this truck in Kansas City turns into a rolling ball of fire. It skids down a snow-covered street in reverse and nearly crashes into a house. Right now, there are more than 140,000 of these mail trucks still on the road. They're putting public at risk, they're putting the drivers at risk, they're putting property at risk. Sean Kane is a leading expert on automotive safety. Looking at these videos, you can see that the fire starting at the back of that engine area and really right in front of the, the driver. So why are so many mail trucks spontaneously bursting into flames? You can't ignore the age of these vehicles. That appears to be a significant factor in what's happening. The United States Postal Service told Inside Edition the safety of our employees is of foremost importance. It says it is planning to replace the trucks and has implemented mandated maintenance schedules and preventative maintenance inspection procedures for the existing Postal Service vehicle fleet. I can't imagine being a mail carrier and knowing that this sort of thing could happen. In July, the House of Representatives approved a $6 billion bill to replace the entire fleet of trucks that have been catching fire. The Senate has not yet taken up that measure.